Hey everybody, this is Cheryl. This is true. And we are at week two, level three of the October classes in 2012 yes. at Wednesday Night Hop. And today was all about musicality and improvisation. But in order to tell you the music that we use in class, we wanted to give you the little list. So we have our handy computer right here, because so, it's Silicon Valley. So the songs we used today were Yacht Club Swing by Echoes of Swing, Savoy Blues by Kidori, Shiny Stockings of Horse by Count Basie, Tutti Fruity by Slim, uh, Slim and Slam, Shout Sister Shout by Lucky Millinder, Kansas City Riffs by Buster Smith, Moton Swing by Oscar Peterson, uh, like and Rock House Parts 1 and 2 by Ray Charles. Ray That's Charles. So, we want you to have those in case you really felt inspired by one of the songs. But we talked a lot about what to listen for in music to get inspired by if you're not inspired by your partner. But of course, you can also be inspired by your partner's musicality. Right. And we talked about how to, when, when you do get inspired uh, and you want to incorporate some, some moves in there, you could either do them by yourself, in which case mm -hmm. you don't have to knock your partner off. So if you're a follow and your leader is not feeling it, don't knock the follow, uh, don't knock the, your lead off by being jerky. Leads yeah. and when and leads really listen to your follows, and when when they are trying, when you're not feeling the the, the song, let your let your partner shine and, and give them a nice basic vanilla so that they can uh, they can do they can really shine because you shine when 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 they shine. Thank you. And the same goes for the follows. If Absolutely. the lead is yeah, really really true. feeling something. <laughs> Let them do that. Yes. Really Singing listen turns. to each other. Yeah, we also talked about music how it doesn't have to always mean adding things into the dance. It could also be really milking those pauses, you know, really drawing out something in yeah. the dance. So that was fun. Yeah. And, uh, and before you do these pauses or any, uh, or any big starts and stops and so on, leads, make sure that you really prep it really really yeah. prep it for your uh, follows so they can go along with you and uh, and make sure this happens with you yeah um, another Sorry. thing we talked about was <laughs> I'm excited you're getting all musical and improvising Woo! and stuff like that <laughs> yeah uh, another thing we concretely talked about was yes. taking a move uh, we took a move that everybody knew and voted on uh, which was the Texas Tommy um, and we asked groups of people to come up with moves uh, on their own and uh, share them with the class. That and was the class really did cool. amazing, right? Everybody came up with uh, awesome stuff. We looked at things. Uh, we saw that people were really true to their body type, which is great. You should make up. You should totally own moves that are very, very natural to yourself, and not try to imitate people and try to be like like other people. Take, Do something that's good strengths. for you and really, yeah. really own it. And I think people did that really, really well. Yeah, it was great. So next week we're going to do a little bit more on the same topic, but go in even more in depth on it, if you can imagine that. We'll have, uh, we'll have very focused exercises to help you yes. prepare. We, we've, we have a list of um, things that we'll uh, work with you on. And, and that'll I think be awesome. That'll be awesome. And that's it, I think. And we learned that the high five can have a place in the Texas Tommy. That's right. Stay tuned for more. <laughs> okay, bye. Thanks.